that Mrs. Lin? Hello, yes, it is. Hi, Mrs. Lin is to shout out one of the midwives from the health service. I'm just linking up as we discussed at your last visit because we are going to do this visit on the phone rather than asking you to come into the health center. Is now a good time for you? Oh yes, I have been waiting for you. That's really nice to hear from you. Great, great. How are you feeling today? I feel, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Good, good. Um, now you know one of the reason we are trying to minimize women contact with the health service is because of the COVID-19 virus. So the first thing we want to know is that whether you have had or currently had any symptoms of the virus, such as high temperature, a sore throat, a landing nose, or some flu-like symptoms, some aches and pains, those sorts of things. No, I haven't. We have been really careful about not going out. And when I do, I wear a mask and avoid crowds. And you know, mostly I send my husband to the supermarket to buy the food. And he is careful and wears a mask and washes his hands. And we just staying at home and just doing a little bit of walking around the streets. So I have been feeling well. I haven't had any of those symptoms. Right, that's great. Now remind me, when is your baby due? We said it was due on the 21st of July. 21st of July, so how? I think six and a half months. Yeah, about six and a half months or about 26 weeks, we say. And how has everything been going so far? I think everything's going well. It's going well. I mean, it's strange. Not sort of being able to do the regular things. But mostly, we just, you know... We just around the house and everything's going fine. Right. Oh, that's great. I see your last antenatal visit that we saw that you have a low level of iron in your blood. And we started you on some iron tablets. We able to get some of those and have you been able to take them every day? I got them. I got them just after we finished our last appointment. And you know, I take them every day, nearly every day. Let's say most days. Yeah, we are forgot if we are kind of not used to taking a regular medication. But it's very important that you try to remember and do try to take them each day. Because we want the iron level to come up in your blood so that you are in a great condition when you have your baby. So it sounds like you are doing really well with it. But it might work if you sit a bit of a reminder or if you take it at the same time each day. Sometimes that kind of helps us to remember. I think maybe after breakfast is the time that I probably most remember to take it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good, good routine to get into. Um, so at your previous internal visit, did we have we identified any concerns or any problems during prior to your pregnancy or during your pregnancy? No, I haven't. I haven't had any problem. I didn't have any problems before. My mom was fine and my sister had a baby and they didn't have any problems. So, yeah. Right. Sounds like you are a healthy, young, well woman. So, that is a good thing. Um, and you said your pregnancy, you felt your pregnancy was going well. Do you feel that your baby getting bigger over the last month? Oh, definitely. I can't. I can't fit into any of my pants anymore. I had to borrow some pants. And people are really noticing now when we do go out in the street. People notice that, that I'm having a baby now. The baby is, you know, moving a lot more. So I can feel the movements. Oh, great. So that was my next question. I was going to ask you about it. How's your baby moving? Or tell me about your baby movement. Yeah. The baby seems to move a lot in the morning. And then mostly when I sit down, you know, after I had my lunch. And in the evening, baby moves around quite a lot. There seems to be times in the day when the baby moves. Yeah, very normal. So from about this stage of pregnancy, from about six and a half or seven months, most babies will settle into a sort of a normal pattern for them. So you are saying your baby moves quite a lot in the morning and then again in the evening when you rest as well. 
And that's a very common pattern for babies. Um, we ask women to keep monitoring the baby movements, just being aware each day that they are moving as they would normally move. And if you feel that your baby movements pattern has changed or that they have stopped, then you should contact the health service as soon as you start to worry about that. Because we know that a baby that moves in the normal pattern is generally a healthy baby. And when babies start To reduce or slow their movements down, it may be a sign that they are not happy. And so we like to make sure everything going well. But most babies continue moving all the way through pregnancy or through labor and Lee assures us that they are fine with it. Yes, baby seems to move a lot. Great, that's good to hear. Mm-hmm.